Hola, everyone. Where the heck have we been? Well, I've been doing the same thing, framing a bit. I'm in a different place now. The house is pretty much done. We're just waiting for the roof to get loaded so we can go shingle the uh, roof. Not looking forward to that one. Anyways, I'm here at a pole barn, a post frame building, something that I've uh, built for many, many years, 30 years of building these things. This one is being turned into a house. And I'll show you around a little uh, later on in this uh, video. As you all know, uh, I am back to doing some framing for a couple reasons. Uh, one, to get a little bit of pesola or coin. Uh, but I think the big reason for me is to get a little more healthier. Uh, it's been two and a half years since I've had to really do anything really physical and uh, it feels good to get out here and uh, bust a move. I, I just enjoyed it my whole life. It's always fun to build something for somebody else and, uh, and, it, and it feels good at the end of the day. So that's my second reason for uh, being out here doing this. And I didn't wanna just sit around. We can't really go camping this time of year. It's just too cold to be out where there is no sunshine. And so hopefully in the next month, It'll warm up enough where it's not freezing all night long. And uh, we can get out there and get up in the Olympics and uh, show you guys around some of Terry and I's favorite little camping spots. We were going to do it last year, but unfortunately the truck had to go in the shop to get fixed. And now it's ready to go. We're ready to go up and do some boondocking up here in the Olympics. The places you haven't seen yet. A question I wanted to answer. I get asked in the comments, why do I always say hola? Well, the truth of the matter is, here in Western Washington, we have a radio station, 99.9 .9 KISW. I have been listening to this radio station ever since I was a little kid. It is a rock station. And they have a couple of gentlemen that come on at two o'clock in the afternoon, and it's called the men's room. And that's how they greet all their friends on the phone, by saying hola. So that's why I do that. Hope that answers that question. Okay, as I said, I'd show you around this pole barn. This pole barn is 24 by 40, and it's gonna be converted into a house. And I can, I'll show you around. Lots of windows. Now this is the style I built my house. This is how my house is built. I have a heated floor on my house. This one is not heated. It is just gonna be electric heat is how they're gonna do inside. So basically you just have a post. It's four foot in the ground and you build a fence. And then we, these are called girts. These are girts. Like tilt the camera. These are girts. These are T-girts. And so this is just how you box it in for sheetrock. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're gonna make it so we can uh, load this ceiling. We're gonna build a false ceiling up in here. And then there's the insulation we're gonna put in and Here's a bunch of sheetrock. I am a lucky one because I don't do sheetrock. That's for the other guys to do. I just do the framing and part of the building. Let me show you what this thing looks like from outside. I'm in a really beautiful spot. And you can see the ice on the roof. It's because it was 28 degrees this morning. But now it's warming up and it's getting really, really nice actually and I'm working inside. The last few days we did an add-on. I elected not to film and it was cold and rainy outside. Now I'm inside in the beautiful weather. Anyways, I hope this doesn't bore you. But when we haven't made a when you haven't made a video for a while, I miss you guys. So I figured I have to get something out there. And uh, I think Terry's working on uh, something at the house. So I'm going to turn it over to Terry right now. 
Take it away, sweetheart. Hi, guys. So I'm in here in my bathroom. I've got some paint here. I am trying to take care of a project while Scotty's at work. I've got uh, an issue going on here with the mirror. So I'm going to paint it and see if I can get the corrosion to stop. Um, so what happens is the moisture comes down through the top, or I guess maybe it just gets in here when we take showers. This is our medicine cabinet. I've got it all cleaned out right now. Anyways, it lifted this white paint, so I'm going to go ahead and tape it off with some painter's tape so I don't get paint on the metal here. And then I'm just going to paint over this and see if I can get that to stop because if this continues, I'm thinking that it's going to leave those marks on the back side or on the front side of the mirror. So that's a project I'm doing today. Make sure if you live in your camper, you travel, you take showers in a small space like ours, make sure that's not happening because you'll end up, if you don't take care of it, see I've got to get some of this off too. What I did was I took a, um, I just took like a knife and I just ran it along and picked up as much as I could. And then I took a uh, piece of um, sandpaper and sanded it down the best I could too because that's just all rusted there. So I got a little bit more work to do and then I'm gonna paint it. Hopefully that will stop the corrosion on it. We'll see. If not, we'll just do something else with it. All right, I got my first coat on, but what I did is I went ahead and didn't tape it off because I realized I wanted to get it down into the crevice. It's still kind of seeping in, but I'll just work that, work the paint into that because I think that the paint water is getting down in that little crevice as well. So I'm just going to build it up and then I'm going to wipe this off on the edge so it doesn't look that bad. All right, guys, I was able to uh, get that all done. It looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna have those little ripples in it where the material came up, but at least that is preventing more problems than what was going on. So taking care of little tiny things like that in your camper or your RV will save you in the long run back to Scotty. Something I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, I carry some tools with me when we're out on the road. Uh, I think you guys all seen my hammer before, right? This is great for digging holes, not for beating nails in anymore. This has been outdated. And look what we use now. And I'm sure you all seen this. A nailer. Big bad dad. Another little important device we have out here is a speed square. Um, it does 45s, it does all kinds of angles on it. So your pitch and your hip and everything like that. Also, it is not a boomerang. It just does not work that well. You could throw it, it flies well, it never comes back. Another thing, a pencil. Now you go, well, why would you say anything about a pencil? Well, I don't think generations know how to use these anymore. These used to be used for writing letters. Now all you do is you take your phone and you text, right? And of course, we all know the mighty tape measure. So this is why you go to school to learn what the numbers are. But one of my things that I find really most important that a framer needs to have with them is a napkin. And you say, a napkin? Well, when you're out in the woods and you need to do something, this is what you have. And, and actually, these things are even more important right now, now that we're having this situation with the virus, because it can be used as a mask. Check it out. And you can get these free. All seriousness apart from that. Um, let's all just take care of ourselves so we don't spread this virus around. So you all take care of yourselves. GoPro, stop recording. Thank you.